we're back again. Another episode, another dead body, another mystery to solve. Well, I'll say mystery, but I guess just, you know, you know what I'm going on about. We got another body to figure out. So I could wing seek either one of you. I can't wing seek now. Not enough battery. Never mind. Can't wing seek anybody. Just see anyone? Anyone? Do you mean the culprit? Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? You know, I'm not saying, like, did you see Ronald McDonald? Did you see Grimace? No. We did not see a single soul. I see. No Grimace? Damn. That is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? So, we get moved into the studio? Must be that one over there. <coughs> I was tied up with that? Guess so. Yeah. Your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. Well, I am very appreciative that you all have. So, Kizzy and I untied the rope. What's a mom been doing then? Um, well... Ah, there you are! Oh, you're not creepy at all. Here you are, the receipt for your card payment. Oh, thank you. Um. Excuse me, but who are you? And what are you doing here? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here? Indeed. That is correct. Okay. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player. So I smashed it with my fist. Okay. Why are you telling me this? Yeah. That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. And while I was fumbling my way through the payment... Okay. He said that the girl in the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out. So it was... Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered okay. by this rowdy display. So that tells us a little something. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. So she had five minutes away from these two. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's, but she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. Okay. So what do you know? Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. Um, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, creepy-ass taxi driver. Mrs. Blue. You've got some questions. She seems very shook up. Yeah. We should let her be for now. Yeah, I think she's fucking lying. I see. No one saw anything. And she's lying. She must be bad shock. She is no. She's no state to talk. I don't fucking believe her. I guess so. Oh, you, I, I, I guess so. It Yes, Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Mommy was already inside. Uh-huh. So you really got some answers, the uh, questions I need. What to is it, Ryuki? Does something bother you about that? A uh, hundred and ten fucking percent. She would have seen someone or seen something or known something, but she's the one being quiet? No, it's nothing. We go off sync with that bitch. I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to Divida. So I, mean, I got right worried there. and came over. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. Okay, a little bit of time passed, a little bit of time passed. Amame is stinking. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. And then there was just me and her and you. Shoma. What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? Of course he's not okay. Yeah, I... Who made you as his father? I'm still gonna ask the questions that need to be asked. 
Talma, have you contacted Abyss at HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation <clears throat> team should arrive soon. Good. I've also arranged for a counselor. He's gonna need more than a fucking counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Uh. Um. Are you gonna. Shoma? Are you gonna let loose there, buddy? Are you okay? Uh. Let loose, Larry. It's the easier thing to do, bud. Better than holding her in. Don't just stand there, Ryuki. Go after him. Right. I would really let the four friends go after him first. If that body gets out, or goes missing, then we have a bigger problem. Uh, did he take the car? By the time we're this to you, Shoma was already gone. The other three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it'd be better to search a water area and get in my car, but also he's not getting this fucking far away. I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone. And his GPS is off. His phone's always off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in the state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Where he might go. Where the Ferris wheel. I got it. Shoma must be there. The only place he would go is the Ferris wheel that he keeps talking about loving so much. Hmm. Well, the Ferris wheel started up on its own. Shoma! Kids gonna have to start telling me the honest to goodness truth here now. Well, no big deal. It's a Ferris wheel. He's gonna disappear. He'll come back down if we just wait. <sighs> Something's gonna get interesting here, isn't it? Missing kid in a Ferris wheel. I could be wrong, but it's just kind of a gut feeling we'll have a missing kid. Well known. Good lord. Anyway, this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. And? What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. Oh, but I don't really care about that right now. No, do I. How can you not care? I don't think I've ever cared about Valentine's Day personally. More importantly, Shoma was on the number two car, right? Why do you ask? Because. Yes, he definitely went in number two. I thought so. If that's the case, he should be back soon. Yeah, I mean, what did Valentine's Day have to do with anything? He's gonna be gone. No. How? <coughs> Told you. Kid went up. Kid gone. How? We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. He went through a ripple in time. We are living in a false world created by a program. Yeah, oh, see? Therefore. If we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. I knew we were coming back to this. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. And yet... And yet, we're melting again. Uh, hold on! Don't tell me it's happening again! Oh, it's happening again! I did look up that every time he does this, it is just gibberish. But... It's like we're a glitch in the matrix. Ooh. Spooky. Oh. Quite a bit of time passing. Now we don't have the fucking missing kid!
Back to tranquil peace. Tama, do you know about this place? Uh, we look like we're losing it. I heard about it from Mr. Date. This shrine worships a fruit called the Fruit of Immortality. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. I forget the first game touched on that too. Hey Ryuki, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. Oh, I know. You haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. Hmm, what would give you that inkling? The random outbursts. The screaming about it being half might once in a while. You should really see somebody. Hmm, what's that gonna do? I'm pretty sure I'm, fr I'm fried. I'm fine. Yeah. Mm. Coming to the shrine has calmed me down. Until later tonight. Coming here doesn't solve anything. <clears throat> Praying to a god or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart. Or brain. Brain's the big one. Please. Ryuki. Okay then. You want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Devita right now? Ryuki. I want to solve the HP case. No matter what. Even if I go mentally insane. No. I have to solve it for Komeji. Especially now that he's passed away. Oh, sheesh, I'm really. So we're gonna do the old, do it. We're gonna do the old investigation. After the investigation, you'll. Yes, I'll go get checked out. Promise, okay? Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes, let's do this. And by doctor, do you want me to go see a couple bottles of sake? Nah, he drank brandy. So, what did you want to investigate here? Something's been bothering me. You see that camera on the tripod that's tipped over? Yep. When we got here... It wasn't like that. Why did it fall over? Could it have been Terra? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. Tripped? No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. A mummy. When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. Iris, Kizuna, Mame, and Shoma. The first one to go into the studio was... Mame! A mame? That's what Iris and Kizuna said. Are you suggesting a mame tipped over the camera? On purpose or not, it's... it's entirely possible. That's what I'm claiming. But why would she do that? That's what I'm going to figure out. <coughs> okay. Yes, I will answer your question. Uh, what rank do you like? Watching? I like watching heavy, but really weak and lightweight. Actually, I like watching them all. Let's just say lightweight. It's below. Kate, you sure? Sure. I don't know how to transfer KG. Do I work in pounds, dude? Okay, we got lots to interact with. But a lot of it's not gonna do anything to progress my time, so. It really isn't standing up. No shit. Yeah. Could it be the alcohol's fault? It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. What are you talking about? Oh. I know what she means now. It's the rope that had you in the tortoise shell bondage position. Tortoise shell? No, that's not true. Oh? Was it a crab tie? No. No crabs, no tortoises, no shrimp, nothing. Shrimp anyway, any look at the rope. It's a fake nail. It matches what a mommy had on. Mm hmm. Rope tying up Ryuki. But we were told they helped get us out of it. Maybe she helped us get in the rope? But I don't think so. What's the estimated time of death? Roughly an hour and a half ago. Based on the time the body I mean, was discovered, of course. So roughly 10 p.m., February 13th. We woke up here around 11.30 p.m. So it was just dead for an hour and a half. It ain't a lot of time. Back here. Yeah, the mannequins aren't worth nothing. Consistency, it's not worth anything. Here's the door everybody had to come through. The door on the east side. The door we entered from. Yep, okay. This is knocked over too, so maybe we take a look. The kettle, kettle is on the floor. Must have fallen off the table. I wonder how it fell. Someone did a pile driver on it. Oh! Either that, or it was bumped or something. Okay, so get on the floor. So, that's another clue. The door on the west side of the <coughs> building is locked. I don't think we can open it from this side. Are there any other exits? The only other door is the door to the east. The one we entered from. So, east and west. Just the two exits. What do we know of? Okay. Thermo mode, let's see. What's weird? 
That is weird. Footprints going to the door that's supposed Footprints to be sealed. in the water. Seeing that it's still warm, the prints couldn't be more than a few minutes old by the time this data was gathered. So right before we regained consciousness? Yeah. Can you tell me whose prints they are? Judging from the shape and size, absolutely a mommy's. Going out that door. The prints lead to the door over there. The door on the west side. <coughs> okay. Holy fuck, we're blazing. Kind of weird to have her prints go that way. What else? We could be to investigate. More mannequins. Podium. Tripod again. The standing camera. We already looked at the corpse. The row. A big camera. That oh. one video was playing on the monitor. This is where you lost consciousness. And me, right after. No, we weren't moved. Okay, this was just the room we were... Okay, we're good. That's where the video played. There's a power cord on that table. I think it's for the electric kettle. Probably means the kettle was here. Uh-huh. Big thinking. The floor is wetter than my... Please don't even say it. Would you prefer the word moist? I think there was hot water in the kettle. There was. It must have been in keep warm mode. That must have fell. And... Oh, so I just missed the one fucking water spot. Lovely how I ran around a whole room and I just... I thought the footprints were part of the water spot. Okay. It looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. I think I can make one conclusion. Shit got fucked up in this oh? room. Care to share what that is? First, think about what Mame did when she first entered the studio. Where did Mame go first? My guess would be here. I think she headed straight to the door to the west. Why? Why indeed. You better come up with something better than that or I'm going to zap you. Well, that was a good guess. That was a good guess. She went to me. Judging from the trail, I think she came to me first. She couldn't have come to me after stepping in the warm water, because if she did, it would have left prints. Well, unless the warm water just only went that far. So that's when a bit of her nail broke and stuck to the rope. But then, something happened that stopped her. Something? I'll tell you later. Anyway, she stopped trying to untie me. Okay, so she did try to help Where did me. she go from there? According to us. And maybe she did see the killer and she just won't tell us who she's seen. Here. Okay, Mommy must have been in a hurry. She tipped over the camera by accident. And then what? She ran to the table. Knocked over the kettle. She came here next. And then kept on trying. Mommy ran into the table, which caused the kettle to fall, and the hot water spilled on the floor. And then? And then right to the door! This is easy! It's easy sleuthing skills. Well, if we trace her footprints, they stopped right in front of the western door. But the door was locked and it didn't open, so she couldn't get out. And then... Everybody else arrived, or the killer was still around, or... Tama, do you have any ideas why Mame stopped trying to untie me? Mm-hmm, I sure do. But continue. I want to hear what you're thinking. Okay, here's my answer. It's simple, actually. I think Mommy saw Terror enter the studio. Oh. While she was untying me, Terror came across the scene. They ran over to her to try to take her out. That's why the body was left in such an unnatural position. And not set up like the normal ones he's used to setting up. I see. We're on the same page. Because it is hastily just There are still back. some question marks, but... Well, putting that threat aside for now, shall we get started? Start what? Filming, duh. I'm getting tired of the camera work. You got a problem? So, are you ready? No. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just I said, said no. No. Ready? Action! Time to go, buddy. I'm going to cast you as a mame. Recreate her movements. Let's start with when she first ran into the studio. Her first move was. This game is such a trip. You're a really shitty actor. Well, what did you expect? <coughs> Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! 
snap out of it! This is when her nail fell off. Mame tried to untie the rope and... Bada bang, bada boom. They brought That's the body when in Terror ran into her. Since Terror is blocking the east door, she can't go that way, so she tried to run to the other door. Okay, let's see your best performance. God. Why do you make me do this? Okay, go on. Run I don't away. think she's making you do the screeching. Just putting that in. And then, run into the camera. Kick the kettle. Then run into the table, and that drops the kettle, and... It's my feet wet. She discovers the west door is completely locked. I'd laugh if it opened up. So then what do you do? What? You were doing so well. Oh, sorry for the squeaking. Fuck. And then the biggest one comes after that. Anyway, she was cornered and... Huh. What happened after that? Either she knows who Terror is, and they know who she is, and they didn't want to kill her, or everybody else arrived, and he had to flee the scene. This is what I was trying to get at earlier. And one more thing. When you asked Amame if she saw the culprit, she shook her head. Why did she lie? Because she knows who it is. Hey, Tama. You collected all the data in this studio, right? Including X-Ray? Yeah. In that case... He was still here. He's amongst the mannequins. I knew it. What? Terror? I think so. So when we regained consciousness, they were in the studio? They were lurking. That must be the case. Wait, you didn't notice, Tama? I thought you had x-ray vision. I thought it was part of the set. Anyway, they have a gun? Yeah, a 50 caliber automatic handgun. Ooh. That could do some real damage. Ooh. Packing heat. This next bit is just speculation, but Terror headed to the western door and cornered Mame, but then must have heard footsteps coming from the other door. Iris, Kizuna, and Shoma. Of course, Terror probably had no idea who they were. Terror must have said something like, Tell, don't tell them I'm here, and if you do, I'll shoot. Then they hid in the set, since their <coughs> only escape route was cut off. That's why Amame lied. She couldn't have said anything with Terror threatening her. Or she knew who it was. Probably. Still going on that a little bit. We can't rule that out. Not in my head, anyway. What a shame. Yeah, what a shame that we had the motherfucker right there. Terror was right there, but we couldn't get them. There was nothing we could have done. Shoma was the top priority. Anyway, there's only one thing we need to do. Let's find Mame. <sighs> she saw Terror in person. She's a key witness now. Maybe she has some information. Something about Terror we don't know. Maybe a voice or how they walk. Hey, Tama. Where is Mame? I don't know. Her smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. This is starting to happen a lot. I asked Tama to call Kizuna Iris and Gen. I asked really where Mame was. None of them picked up. Hold on a second. What about your promise? Fine. I'll get checked. And I want to talk to Shoma. He's at home now, right? Go get checked, then talk to Shoma, I guess. At least that's what Tama said before I came to the shrine. I have no idea how Shoma was able to get out of the Ferris wheel. I don't know if it's related to all of this, but I had a strong desire to find out. So we have three objectives. Finding Amame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma, right? Yeah. Fine, I'll tag along. Not to mention today is special for partners. Valentine's Day. What do you mean? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Yeah, anyway, I got no idea. let's get going. I got no idea. <clears throat> Am I supposed to get my eyeball at Valentine's Day gift? Fuck if I know, eh? Data saved. Oh, right. Uh, this is probably a good spot to end this episode, since we're gonna go gather a whole bunch of more information, and we just did a big investigation anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, comment, like, subscribe, and as usual, hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.